A UW-Madison study is challenging the long-thought idea that only a woman's ovaries produce estrogen. Scientists at the Wisconsin National Primate Research Center have proven that the brain also produces estrogen and it plays a big role in ovulation. Newsreader's Amanda Quintana has more on the newly published story, how it could change infertility treatments and birth control, Amanda. That's right. Well, for decades, scientists have known a woman's ovaries produce estrogen, causing a surge in hormones triggering ovulation. But this new study shows a woman can't reach full ovulation without the brain also producing estrogen, an idea that could help women with infertility issues. And then somehow start to increase. Senior scientist A. Terasawa has been researching the hormones that control the menstrual cycle for the last three years. Now proving estrogen formed in the brain plays a big role in ovulation, challenging years of focus on estrogen produced in the ovaries. Most of the textbook or even biology course the professor was explain essentially, okay, body gives a signal just a signal at the beginning, and the hypothalamic hormone starts to release. Her research shows a signal from the ovaries is not enough, the brain also creating estrogen. By blocking estrogen from forming in the brains of monkeys at the Wisconsin National Primate Research Center, Tarasawa's team discovered estrogen from the ovaries starts the surge of hormones, but estrogen from the brain is necessary for ovulation. Without it, the process can't continue. I think this is just the beginning. It's a long way to go. These findings could lead to better contraception, targeting just the brain or just the ovaries. And it could explain problems with infertility treatments. I'm not suggesting put a needle to give the estrogen to the brain. <laughs> but in some way, just supplementing estrogen or helping the brain estrogen to release someone has to figure out. A breakthrough in science making doctors and the public rethink how ovulation works. This is the first time researchers have seen a link between ovarian estrogen and brain estrogen. Now this could explain why some infertility treatments aren't working. So it's getting doctors to not just look at the ovaries, but also look at the brain and discover what they can do. A very important breakthrough right here in Madison. Amanda, yes, thank you. Thanks, Amanda.